Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. Another new video and I'm so excited today. We've been on here for about 15 minutes and I've already had this beautiful find but before I show you this lovely little coin, big shout out to Detectorous Gloss here for giving me this hat. They gave it to me Detective all last year and I haven't worn it yet. I've worn it a couple times but you weren't filming and it's such a nice hat. Thank you so much for that guys. Check it out channel. Really, really amazing stuff in there. And there we go. Right, yeah, so I had it right at the corner of the field, right at the edge. Yeah, look at that, look at that head racing, right? The radiate head, radiate crown, you know, little spiky thing, you know what I mean? Oh, that is a really, really, really nice one. I think Gordon might have had another Roman as well. Dad hasn't had anything yet, but I haven't been here for long. You can just make out a little figure standing up there, some sort of god. It's absolutely beautiful, the head side especially. I'm glad that's the better side because, just yeah, look at that. It's absolutely stunning. Can't wait for today. I'm gonna see you all in the next. Boom. And look in a hole here. You think that thing right there is a little rock? Look, that is 100% it and then listen. You might not be able to hear it, but that sounds hollow. Don't want to get too excited, but I don't know. A little horde, maybe? I'm not sure. Well, I'll, I'll come back to you if I've got it out a little more. But I am really excited because this could be a horde. Um, we've had quite a few bits of roaming off this field, and this is the sort of thing that we've expected to come across eventually. So <sighs> it's going to be a rock, I bet you. But I'll see you in a minute if it is something nice. I am so excited. Fancy some soup, guys. So my Roman pot filled with about a thousand gold coins. How is that a spoon? Look how big that is. So we just saw that. But how do you get a spoon that big that's clearly not that old, that deep? Seriously? On to the next. Fly one after that lovely event um, of that massive spoon. It's like, like that big. Massive spoon, really is. Uh, I've got a nice signal just coming up the field. Uh, about 71 this. So, you never know. This might be something of interest. Probably a shotgun shell. But you never know. Could be a little Roman that we've all been waiting for. Uh, come on. Oh, that's it there. Uh, oh my god, 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 oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That is a beautiful Roman enamel brooch. Oh my god, that's so nice. Oh my god. Oh, no way, there's no way. There's, I, I think it is. 100%. Oh my god, oh my god. I've been wanting to find one of these forever. I've never had a Roman like disc brooch. That looks fantastic. I don't know if it's still got the pin. I want to be so, so, so gentle. Yeah, you can see all the bits coming out and it's probably gonna be a shotgun now. No. Look at that blue enamel. Look at that. Oh my days. Right, I want to take a picture with some mud on and then I'll come back to you and clean it up. That is, I, I've got no words. I've got no words. Look at that. What a beautiful find this everyone. This is everyone. I'm just lost for words. I've been wanting to find a little roaming disc brooch in so long and it looks 
ridiculously nice. I thought it was a shotgun at first because of like, you know, this little bit sticking out. I was like, oh, it's just another shotgun shell. But then, like, I looked at it and I can see these bits sticking out. I can see like the remnants of like a clip for a pin. I'm, I'm literally shaking. I want to be so gentle. That enamel looks extremely nice. I want to be so... There's white on it as well! Oh my god! No! What is that? That is crazy! And it looks like there's some like red in the middle. That... The last person that wore this was definitely, definitely... Oh, that bit's come off. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Was definitely extremely, extremely rich. That... That is one of my best finds ever. That is... Phenomenal. I was coming out today. It's a wet, windy day just after the storm that we've all had. I hope everyone's all right. No trees falling in your house, you know. But I was thinking, oh, it's going to be a wet, windy day. You're not going to find much. I never expected to pull out one of the nicest Roman brooches I've ever seen in my whole entire life. Just look at it. Look at that. I love that little bump on it as well. It's so ornate. And the enamelling is just... Beautiful. I can't say enough. The person that would have worn this would have the authority they would have had. They would have been extremely rich. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. Look at the white. It almost looks like Saxon. Like pirate treasure. I'm lost for words. I really, really am. That is a beautiful, beautiful piece of history. That's kind of perfect. I can hold it like that. Look at it. Still got remnants of the pin. Uh, even like the nice bit of like iron. The iron makes it like... Like who would have made this? Whoever would have made this would have been extremely like... How do you make this by hand? Like putting all the little bits of enamel. I am, I am just lost for words. I really, really am. That is crazy. And look, you can even see where they've made the actual disc and then they've got this bit and, like, put it on. You can see there's a bump where they've, like, not glued it. They wouldn't have had glue back then, but they would have moulded it together. You can see the line. The pin would have been there. That is phenomenal. What a beautiful, beautiful find back on the Roman field and probably one of the best days I've ever had out metal detecting. It's been a rubbish day, but finding something like that makes it so worth it. Gordon's coming over now. Don't want to say he's going to be jealous, but I think he is. But he's had enough brooches in his life. Gordon! Gordon! Something very nice! I'll wait for him to come over and then I'll show you guys his reaction. Look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. Right, yeah, just pull, just got here. That is uh, what I had, Gordon. I gotta say, that's a beautiful Roman brooch. The best colouring I've seen on a Roman brooch. I love the blue and the white. Yes. It's an phenomenal. Look at what it. a lovely thing. Some of the enamel is coming off, as you can see. So I'm just literally oh. going to put it in here and just leave it. What a beaut. And with a little Roman. Do you know what? That's just a stunning brooch. One of the best I've seen. Lovely thing. Can't believe that. Love the colours. Right oh, I'm going to wear that tonight. Look at that. Look Get brand it, new. Get in there, guys. Hey, Let's get some more, yeah? I want your yeah. jar of jam you've got at home, OK? All right. I've got a jar of jam. I, want, I need that jar. That's fine. That's fine. Bye, guys.
amazed at that brooch. That's just such a such a nice find. I can't wait to get home and give it a little bit of a clean up, little, little cotton bud, and I'll be looking beautiful. So I've got another nice little signal here, 77. So you never know, might be a little, oh, it's right here. Might be a little Roman, but I'm expecting a shot, shot but Oh, is that Roman? No way, back to back Roman-ness. Yeah, it's got to be a Roman, can't be a shoy. Pull out and show it, it's a shoy. Yes, look at that, yes. Oh, I'm on it now, I'm on it now. Yeah, it's a nice one as well. I love it when they come out like this in beautiful green colour. That's why they always come out nice and so look. Because it's, it's alkaline, that's a stone, that's not chalk. But you know, it's white, there's chalk, so it, they always come out nice. Oh yeah, another little radiate head on there, facing right, nice size as well, quite a small head, but yeah, facing right there, hopefully you can see that nice and clearly, and then there is, oh gosh, stuck to my finger, there should be a little figure, yeah, I think I can see a figure standing up there, kind of similar to my other one, but you know, not as nice, but still a beautiful little Roman coin. Get in there. On to the next. Dad just called me over, everyone. I swear we're getting on all the coins now. So he just called me over, and he's already took it out, but he just put it back in the dirt, and there it was. It was about an inch on the ground. And there we go, look at that, a little Roman coin. Pretty toasty, but I think you can see a head on there. But yeah, quite a thin one. But yeah, another Roman. So that is four Roman coins and one little disc brooch. I say little, one big disc brooch. Lovely, love that. On to the next. Really good tip here. So um, if you find something in an area that you've done, on a field, just stick to the area. I know it's pretty obvious, but we're going around this area now, and I've just come over here where my dad was, and there's another banging signal. So I just pulled out, and I think it's over here somewhere. Yeah, it's just just here. I think this will be a coin, but oh, that's it there. Oh, what's that? I don't know if that's old or not. I don't think so. Um, nah, it doesn't look very old. Nah, it's not old at all. Just some sort of little cog thing. Not really sure. We'll give it a little clean up, but it looks machine made and not not anything old. But yeah, I'll give it a clean up. Might be something good and I'll come back to your fears. Trying to do a little live dig on this one, guys. So just got over here and really nice signal. Not too shallow, not too deep. 78, really clean line on the XY axis. Really nice clean sound as well. I think this one could be another little Roman coin. Yeah, ground so sticky here. Still in the hole. I think this could be something nice. Oh, oh right here, right here. Come on. Come on, little Roman on a little live day, come on. Oh, oh, I see something there. I see, I see a rim. Pretty sure that's going to be a shotgun. But you never know, it could be a little coin. A nice little Roman, Constantine. Yeah, that'd be nice. I think it'll be a shotty, but... Oh, that is a really, really nice Roman. That is a really, really nice one. Oh, we should have... Oh, no, it's not a Roman. Oh, no, it's a milled coin. I was going to say... Oh no, it's a little milled coin. Bit of a surprise, we hardly ever get milled coins on here. Um, yeah. Let me find a little milled coin, yeah. Really nice condition, that. I'll give you guys a picture. George V farthing, probably. 19. 19 something, I'll give you guys a picture. It's going to turn out really quite nice.
crazy that. So another little signal here, about 54 bang, 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 bang. So I'm like, oh, well, it's why I'm on top. So I get my pinpointer out and look. <laughs> There's a Roman just on the top of the field. How mad is that? I am the little, you know, sunbather. Well, I wish it was a sunbather because you know, it's not really sunny at the moment. But yeah, that is crazy. Literally on the top of the field. Little Roman going. Uh, don't think there's much detail on it. I won't clean it off now because it's not brilliant, but yeah, the Roman coin on the top of the field that makes it a lot better. Lovely, turning out to be an amazing day. On to the next. I'm on to another signal. Uh, really think this one could be something, maybe a nice little Roman. Hoping for a really nice one. Um, we've had quite a few like really nice Romans off this field, but we haven't had one today. Like a really nice pattern, good size. Maybe a little Dupondius. That'd be nice. So yeah, 71. Good signal. You never know. Maybe another Roman here, Gordon. Oh, that'd be nice. 71. Quite a nice signal. Just here. Right there, guys. Hopefully, oh, that's it there. And I think that is gonna be a little Roman coin. You guys probably can't see that, but it looks to me like a little Roman. Just pop that out. Oh, no, 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 no. What is that? Ooh. It's a shotty. Oh, I thought it was a Roman. All good, though. On to the next. So many of these in these fields. A lot. Another signal here, everybody. This one's not as good, but still, yeah. Nice high numbers, 70. Really clean signal. Noise, clean noise. About uh, 70, this one's. A little bit more scratchy though than the others, but still could be something. I think that is it there. I don't know what that is, some sort of copper object. It looks old, but I don't think it's anything really of much interest. It's like a little cone. Yep, I can see a bit of rust on it though, so, you know, a little thing then. On to the next. <sighs> Gordon has not had anything this afternoon. I have had a rubbish afternoon. He really has. So he had one woman, one Roman, like straight away. This is one of my finds of the afternoon. Yeah. Lovely find. Beach and powders. <laughs> it's one of my best finds until now. Until now. So we're going to head back up there. I haven't seen it yet. Uh -huh. Apparently, I've just found something which I'm just about to show to Paddy, which is my best find. He's got a lovely the day. Roman go, fibula. Oh my god. Look at the pattern on that. What? So that's a yeah, Roman fibula brooch. I can't remember what type this is. I've definitely seen ones like it before. But look at that pattern there. That is a phenomenal. Gem. Right, I'll give it a clean up and I'll come back to you guys. That looks stunning. Happy bee! Woo! I thought I'd seen something like this before, but I really haven't. Look at this. So there's one big hole there, which is strange enough. Look at that pattern first of all, though. Beautiful. There's another little hole there. So it's 100% a Roman fibula, but just look at that. Really, really strange. Honestly, I have no idea like what type it is. If anyone knows like what type it is, and if we haven't found it on the picture, I'll show you guys in a sec. Then, yeah, please tell us in the comments. I'm sure, there's lots of Roman experts out there who out there who know what that is. That really is beautiful. Well done, Gordon. Thank you, you definitely deserve that. We've I all had a bit what? of Roman now, yeah, I'm, and I'm, that is I'm beautiful. Happy. I'm happy now. <laughs> Get in there, guys. I was, on I was going to the home. next. Bye. Lovely. Right, guys, what an awesome day that was. Morning really wasn't that good, to be honest, but afternoon definitely made up for it. We all had some Roman eats. I had that beautiful, beautiful beautiful brooch corn had a lovely brooch we all had a, a, at least one roman coin each really was amazing i'd clean it up 
all when I get home. And I'll do a nice roundup showing you all the best bits. I'll see you at home. Right everyone, I had the roundup now and we had some really, really nice finds today. So, um, yeah, lovely little brooch that I'll come on to that a bit more later. Nice little Roman coins and yeah, let's, let's start on the less interesting stuff. So this thing here is, I'm not really sure, might be some sort of, I don't know, I thought it might be something like a little arrowhead at first, but my dad thinks it might be a mount, some sort of mount, but... I'm not really sure. Looks like there's some silver gilt on there. But I don't know. Lovely little, yeah, I say lovely, a uh, little Roman nail. We get loads of these on our commission. Tiny little iron hobnails. And then we've got your usual little lead bullet. Don't mind them finding these, they're still really old. They are cool to find. There we go. And then this, actually, I thought personally was rubbish, but it's actually a put and take spinner. So it's like a little game, and there is actually writing on it, but it's really hard to see. But you might be able to see some writing. And what you do with it is you spin it like that. There we go. You spin it like that, and then, it, yeah, just be a good game, and it'd be about the counters, how many counters or money you'd put in. So gambling and just a game as well. So yeah, about 20th century that, early 20th century. So yeah, really cool little find. Yep, and then we have the hoard of gold Roman coins itself. Yep, the massive, massive spoon. Can't believe it this big. And it's got the maker's mark there, Gladwin Limited, which was a Sheffield company where lots of cutlery was from, probably 1940s, so not too old, but still a really cool find, and like a big spoon like that. It's pretty cool, I've honestly never seen one like this big, ever. And yeah, um, yeah, really big serving spoon there, and um, only milled coin of today's venture. 1918, George V farthing. Lovely. And now we've got a load of Roman coins here. Most of these are quite cruddy, but this is probably the best one here. Lovely little silica head there. No, sorry, not silica, radiant. Got mixed up there. You can see the some sort of god there. And there's a couple more. You can see some nice heads. That one's quite nice. And that one there. Pretty cruddy, but yeah, so nice little Romans. And definitely the best find of today. This beautiful, beautiful second century Roman plate brooch. So this plate brooch is, yes, yeah, second century. Really nice plate brooch or disc brooch, you can call it either, really. Some really nice blue enamel and then the white contrasting it. And you've got all these little bits sticking out, which just makes it so unique. And then this big thing sticking out in the middle, which is really, really cool. I want to be super careful, but... That is such a beautiful find. Look at that. So yeah, it was a really, really amazing day today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all on the next.